and pupil, which is also known as RAPD, which stands for Relative Afferent Pupillary Defect. When you shine light into somebody's eye, what should happen? You should cause, what should happen to your pupil? It should constrict. If you go into a dark room, it should dilate, right? So what is different in a patient with MS? What is the term that you have to know from an MS standpoint? You get something we call as a Marcus Gunn pupil, which is also known as RAPD, which stands for Relative Afferent Pupillary Defect. So, in order to understand this, you need to know what your normal pupillary reflex is, right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to say that this patient here has MS and therefore has optic neuritis. The optic nerve is inflamed. Now let's see what happens. Say I shine light into the unaffected eye, right? Would you constrict this eye? Yes, you would constrict this eye. Would you constrict the other eye? Yes, because if you stimulate here, it's going to go to this side and it's going to connect both. It should be fine, right? But say I go to this eye now. If I shine light into this eye, would I constrict this eye? No, because your connection all the way up there is gone, right? Would I constrict the other eye? I will not. So what would happen when you shine? So the way you're going to do to elicit a Marcus Gunn pupil, you make a patient sit in the dark room, okay? Moment you go into a dark room, what's going to happen to your pupil? It's going to dilate because it's dark. Now when I shine light into the unaffected eye, both pupils should constrict. Now when I go to the affected eye, paradoxically what should happen is that eye that I'm sliding light into should dilate and the other eye will also dilate to a certain extent. So this is known as your relative afferent pupillary defect, also known as Marcus Gunn pupil, very classic of MS, very classic of MS. That's what's important for us to know. So whenever you think of Marcus Gunn pupil, you think of MS.